Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Snakes on the Plane. Today we're going to be pulling a clutch from my TSK Exanthic. And there we go. Oh, she's like, no, these are mine. So I'm really happy to see that this girl has a nice clutch in here. Uh, last year she actually um, gave me uh, all bad eggs. So this year we have some really nice ones. This is a secret clutch again, so I'm not going to be telling you what's going on. However, I will let you know that do any second along with this girl is a spider pewter possible calico that was bred to a desert ghost and then a normal that was bred to a very interesting African import I have. So we have those clutches that will be coming any second as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this girl real quick so that we can uh, uh, get a couple pictures of her and uh, be able to pull those eggs a little easier and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we got her over here now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the incubator where I have the egg box already for these guys. I'm going to pull it out and then probably put them in there pretty quickly. Um, just wanted to make sure that it kind of looked like she's done. If you check her tail here, it really does look like she's done. Um, we'll just unwrap her and give her a quick look to make sure. Um, I will then place the eggs in the egg box and you may see that uh, there's like a strip of uh, dried egg from the previous clutch that is hatched now. And you may also see that there's a paper towel and the reason for that is that previous clutch that had that strip in there actually had some really really helpful springtails. Springtails will eat mold and uh, the kind that I have can live in this um, hot temperature of the incubator. Most can't. So, oh there goes my dog deciding to come down. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that incubator box here and uh, start putting her and those eggs in there. Alright so we have this incubator box now. I'm just going to slowly, oh it's okay and that's exactly what you don't want is her doing that. She's being a good mom but you don't want her flopping around like a crazy woman because she could accidentally injure those eggs. I'm going to just take a look at the belly here and you can see that she is empty. Alright so we're going to try and get these bad boys apart. Let's see what I can do here for them. It doesn't look like it's been too long, so hopefully these guys will just snap apart. Yep, there's one egg, and I will be candling them just to make sure that we did get all these guys um, with the embryo sitting up. Even though, fun fact, the embryo doesn't really adhere um, to the wall of the egg for several hours. Alright. This is the one that's sitting on top. Okay. Still just like to make sure that the embryo is up just in case it did adhere, uh, adhere to the uh, wall of the egg a little bit quicker. And the reason that you want that is because if it did adhere and you put it upside down or, or it, it, it's underneath all the fluid completely, um, it's actually going to drown. And then you'll have a dead snake. Let's see. There we go. So literally what you do is you just shine a light on these guys and then you look for a dot surrounded by a bubble and bada bing bada boom, that's your embryo. Seriously that simple. Alright, so eight beautiful eggs. Um, I'm going to get these guys arranged, again candle them, and they'll be in the incubator for 60 days. Um, on May 23rd to May 27th, I have a clutch of hurricane bananas that should be hatching. Everything should either be hurricane or banana, hopefully. Um, otherwise, just the hurricane sired it, so normal hurricane banana or combo thereof. Um, so we'll see what's going on, but I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm really excited about this clutch, and hopefully we can see some really incredible things here soon popping out of here. So if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like and subscribe? And again, thanks so much for watching. I'll keep you guys updated.